My family moved out of Somalia when the war happened, so we migrated to Kenya. So I lived most of my life in Kenya. And then we got um, sponsorship here in Australia as a refugee. My mom came here first and then we all came one by one. It was definitely a challenge. I became homeless at that time when I came to Australia and then I got pregnant and then I had my first child at the age of almost 20 and that made me overcome all the challenges and become like okay then this is it. I have a responsibility and I need to find opportunity to move forward, need to learn because um, my intention was to learn and be a career person but then you become a mom, priority change. I was going into young women meetups and Dress for Success were doing a presentation there and I learned about it and I was like, wow, this is such a great organization, what they're doing, how they're helping women. And it's such a great idea. And fast forward seven years later, here I am using the service and yeah, and I'm so grateful and I'm so privileged to actually know that this existed. I walked in, um, I did not know what to expect. I can see them dressing um, another lady up. I was like, okay, then this is good. And she was so friendly, introduced herself, talked to me, she's like, it's okay. We look after everybody, any background and everything. I'm such a softest, I broke down and cried. And she made me feel like it's okay, it's a safe zone. This is a safe place, um, no judgment, no nothing. Everybody's dedicated to look after you from the dress up to the sizing to the makeup and everybody's so friendly and that's, I just feel like I don't deserve this. And to come out with three bags of Dress for Success, it was huge. And in that I had one week's worth of clothing. I was like, wow, it's, it's not like normal bags, it's just like a million dollar bag to me. I work with one of the biggest trust funds in Australia. I love my job. It fits perfectly for my family life. I want a simple life, I want a simplicity, even though it sounds boring, but it's not. You take life for granted. Coming home, laughing with my children, having food to eat, and another part. I want to do volunteering a lot because, oh my goodness me, like, I can think a lot of people in my life that helped me the last two years or three years, and the list is endless, and I want to pay forward. That's part of my journey, moving forward.